I got this feeling inside my brains It goes electric wavy when I make them A's All through fourth grade, all through my school We're flying up no ceiling when we're in our zone I've got that sunshine in my pocket Looking forward to a good day I feel I can do everything when I try I can't stop myself from learning Moving up academically Unlock the way we rock it, so don't stop. Hello everyone, I hope everybody's having a great day because we are back on track. We're back to learning about math. <clears throat> so today's topic is about why do I need to know about identifying relative sizes of measurement units within the customary and metric system. Okay. So today we're going to be learning about measurements and how they relate to different sizes and the two types of system we have and we teach you in fourth grade, okay? Today's TEKS is 4.8a and we're going to be learning about length, okay? And we're going to be learning about other ones such as like weight, volume, all that stuff that's, become, that's going to be later on, okay? All right. So don't forget, once you see this little guy on the bottom of your left screen, make sure to write down what's on the screen so you can have it in your notebook, okay? Our objectives for today. Students will know how to identify relative sizes of length. Students will understand how to use, I mean, sorry. Students, students will understand how to, under, how to identify measurement units within the customary system. Students will be able to share in a group discussion how to identify relative sizes of length, measurement units within the customary system. Okay, and then here it is in Spanish, just in case you need it. Okay, let's move on. And our essential questions for today and tomorrow are, how can you convert customer units of length, width, and liquid volume? How can you convert metric units of length, mass, and liquid volume? Okay. So, like I said, these couple of videos are going to be just about length. Mass and liquid volume is going to be later on, okay? But if you understand these questions by the end of the next couple of videos, and you understand the topic, okay? So ask yourself at the end of the video, do you know how to do this? Do you know how to answer the question? If yes, and you answer it, good, then you got it. If you don't know how to answer it, then let's keep on watching um, some videos and then wait until class and then we'll answer the questions for you. Let's go ahead and look at our vocabulary. So the vocabulary words that we have today is customary or sistema inglés, length, liquid volume, mass, measurement units, metric, and relative size. Let's go ahead at customary or sistema inglés. A system of measurements where length is measured at inches, feet, yards, and miles. Capacity, which is measured in cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. And then weight is measured in ounces, pounds, tons, and temperatures in degrees. We only use this in the United States, okay? Everywhere else uses another system, and we'll talk about that later. But here in the United States, we use customary. Yep, customized system, only in the United States. That's it. Let's look at what we're gonna be talking about in the next couple of videos, which is length, okay? And what length is, is the measurement of the distance between two points. So for an example, this ruler here on screen, it's measured in um, centimeters, and it's from zero to 16. So the pencil measures 16 centimeters. That's length when you're measuring how long is it. Liquid volume is a measurement of space a liquid occupies. 
So how much is my coffee um, being occupied in this cup? It could be gallons, pints, your milk. When you get milk from the cafeteria, it's in a little pint, okay? Mass is the amount of, of matter in an object. So how much does this object weigh? Okay, how much mass does it have? And measurement unit, which is a system of, of measurement where length is again um, measured in millimeters, meters, centimeters, kilometers, capacity is measured in liters, milliliters, weighs in grams, milligrams, kilometers, and temperature in degrees in Celsius. Okay, so this system is called the metric system. So Everywhere else in the world uses the metric system. If you go to Mexico, if you go to El Salvador, if you go to Honduras, Nicaragua, um, Europe, um, everywhere, everywhere, they use our metric system. They use the metric system, sorry, not ours, but the metric system, okay? It's not like we made it up. But even our scientists here in the United States, the scientists here use the metric system. So, yeah. Everywhere else uses the metric system, except for us. We have our own system. Yeah. Relative size, what does that mean? Well, it means that the size of one number in comparison to the size of another number or numbers, okay? So if I measure this, it's relative to what? For an example, a lot of my students think that one foot is exactly one of your feet. Well, for some people, yes, for some people, no. Um, if you're an adult, your feet get bigger, so it might not be a foot anymore. If you're, really, if you're a young student, then maybe your foot is too small to be a foot. So that's why we don't say your foot is exactly one foot, but it could it can be sometimes like that, right? Um, an inch is usually like about again this big, so an inch is this much, right? So that's what relative size means. Is it is the measurement compared to something that you already know? And yes, we'll learn about that in class a little bit. Let's go ahead and look at our video for today. A family vacation at a Verbo means leaving all the... We are the women and men of measurement. If there's a distance, we find the length of it. We know we can always put 12 inches inside a foot And one yard just won't be complete If it does not contain 3 feet One inch is what you got If you're looking at the top of a bottle of pop On your thumb is about one inch From your knuckle to your fingertip We are the women and men of measurement if there's a distance, we find the length of it. The length of the folder where your work is put measures out to just one foot. You'll find a foot if you look at the height of the parrot on my hook. Yar. A football field has 100 marks, each one is a yard apart. At the plate with a softball bat, a yard is about what you're looking at. Open your fingers a pinch, and make it an inch. Then make your hands look just like a foot. Put them three times as far and make a yard. Now we know how long they are. We are the women and men of measurement. If there's a distance, we find the length of it. All 
Awesome, so that was our video for today. Um, so tomorrow, in our next video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know and get ready for class as well. Um, so that's gonna be tomorrow's mini lesson. And then here are your notes for measuring a length, okay? Again, we have a customary system that we use here in the United States, and then we have the metric system that, we, that everybody else uses besides us for whatever reason. Um, yeah. Okay, so write down your notes and then I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I hope you have a great day. Bye.